Hi 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 everyone, I'm Pyrewana, and here's how to play Mercy in Season 10. Let's be real, you probably shouldn't be playing Mercy in Season 10, but knowing my audience, I know you're doing it anyways. As much as I could be a meta slob, I realize that I can't afford therapy, so instead I'll be playing Mercy with both Math Chat and Team Chat off. Anywho, we'll be pocketing Farah this round. I thought Farah would push up, and I messed up my movement because of it, but luckily, the enemy doesn't have eyes and lets me through. My Farah crosses so I cross, and while I take a shot, I heal up quickly. I should have backed towards the mini instead of main, as this leaves me exposed, Mercy Brain not paying attention. I like holding stairs when my DPS walks up, because if something happens like that, I can leave pretty easily. Oh, let me help you up, girl. It's good the damage boost here, but I should be playing a bit farther away. Unfortunately, I messed up my GA, which makes me miss my timing with Genji, and if I walked, I wouldn't be a lost puppy. A bit greedy, but I don't vouch for this. It's only to support, so as long as I keep Genji up through Nano, we should be fine. Genji dashes up so I fly out of the room then Valve to stabilize myself. A better direction would have been going right on the doorway to avoid Hanzo. I know Genji has blade so I prioritize him since he is our main win condition. While we get a bunch of kills, my team unfortunately can't sustain between Ram and Zenold. Mainly since my Soch decided to leave safety, but that's fine. That's fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. You know, a little demoralizing, but you know what? Hey, I'm just gonna walk and... Oh. Anyways, we res instantly. Unfortunately, Hog tries to make a play, and we don't get Suzu on him on time, and we have to back up. Oh, goodbye, my Genji. I'll see you in spawn. You know, one silver lining about this hog is that I'm getting a good amount of ult charge, which is nice for this final fight. I want to res, but Ram is guarding it, so I don't go for it, and it's definitely good that I didn't, knowing that Tracer is also there upon rewatching. I try to push up since Hog is up, and Tracer pushes me, so I pull out. With the final fight ahead, I vow, trying to keep Sojourn up, but the ram ult is too much, so I focus on keeping my payload people up, then res once the coast is clear. I see Zen low, and I know he's close to ult, so I go to confirm this kill, and with a swift swipe in and out, it's just like stealing Adobe products on the internet. Because of that kill, it allows my team to swiftly clean up the enemy. Usually Kiriko's supposed to sit on payload and let Mercy push with DPS, but my Sojourn takes payload so I push up. I should be with Genji, but I was a bit nervous going in front of the enemy, so I just stay with Hog. Luckily I meet back with my Genji, and we can find- oh.
Always make sure to damage boost your hog hooks. Although it doesn't make much of a difference here, it really does help confirm kills. Unfortunately, we lose Kiriko, and Kiriko is in a less than favorable spot, so this is out of the question. I should have either met him on the other side or committed to the slingshot because canceling J just gave me the worst of the other options. Initially I don't res since Hanzo was holding the angle so I go and support Genji until he dies, but I could have res here since dragons weren't hitting me. I was unsure if Hanzo would make it to the window during res, but because my team is pushing up, this res looks safe, especially to lower rank mercies. It's okay not to res, especially when unsure of its safety cause at the end of the day, if your decision making is wrong and you die, it's game over, and my decision making proved right since Hanzo peeked the window and I boost Hog's hook. I didn't need the GA here, and I'm forced to use Valk earlier than I needed to, but this Valk timing isn't as bad since it keeps Hawk and Kiri up. I mainly hold heal on Hog since he's discorded in the front of the Hog. Once Kiri and Soj ult, I play the damage boost hard, and we get some free roadkill. Unfortunately, I miss out on pocketing Sojourn since Genji dies and I go to support Kiriko to make sure we don't lose more. Luckily, Genji is the only one dead and we're able to keep momentum up with Rez. I push up since Blade is our next win condition and the team wants to take space. We get a really good hook on Hog, which forces out his heal and he has to back up and I think what my Genji is doing is a zoning maneuver and that will be what I tell myself to feel better since it helped us cap the point. I don't res him since our spawn is close. I preemptively heal Hog since I know Suzu will come soon, and I know Hog will need as much healing as possible. While we don't keep him up, he creates an opportunity for the DPS to pick off Zen, and it's off to the races for this fight since Genji gets a free blade on the backline. All I need to do is look pretty and keep the backline up against GMO Hog. I don't know what my Genji told that Ana in the corner, but he almost died, so it couldn't have been good. So we did the only thing we had to do, kill her. I'm looking for anything to get Valk quickly, and once I get it, I basically turn on the blender. Small announcement, but I got three mercy videos that'll come during the week, so if you like this content, make sure to subscribe! We have a Sojourn, so I will be mainly playing with her this round. Frankly, I don't need to peek as much, especially with the sounds being a bit scarier as I hear Widow, Hanzo, and Hog, so I stay here and I don't become like Genji. I rotate towards Mega, but since my team wants to stay high ground, I have to rotate back in order to not get isolated. I res as I'm safe to do so and play to stabilize. We're down one again, but Hog gets a nice hook and I boost Hog since he is the best person to quickly burst the tank down. I shouldn't have peaked Hanzo here, but tell me why Storm Arrow still ricochets. I'm a screen away and I'm still almost dead to him. Just 
With some downtime, I know the enemy is probably close to TPS ults, mainly since my Genji and Hog have been feeding them a bit, so I'm trying to play extra careful. Yeah, about being careful. Unfortunately, Hog gets reduced to atoms, and we have to back up. Yeah, I'm lucky that hook didn't hit me. I could have stayed on the right a bit longer. My team wants to commit ults, and with Genji touching, I need to use Valk to stall so my Sojourn has space. I definitely should have helped Ana a bit more since I tunnel visioned a lot on Sojourn. I could have also pistoled Ana here instead of just relying on Sojourn. Knowing I've created a bit of a problem, I quickly deal with it even if it almost kills me. Could have rest here. To be honest, I thought there was more around and I was running on a lot of adrenaline from stalling. Luckily, from surviving that fight, I ended up with half of my Valk back, which I think is nice. My Sojourn is in back, so I boost Genji for some ult charge. Waiting for him to climb the wall so I can latch my beam on him. I play high ground until Widow pushes up so I can avoid Tracer. Hog gets hooked and we kinda need him for this fight so I do a very quick res to get him up. I should have just flown to Ana instead of back to payload. Unnecessary risk I put myself in, but once again, luckily, the enemy doesn't have eyes. I tried to sneak a melee onto a tracer and almost got myself killed from a totally unbiased source. Mercy boxing is evil and the devil. Now with Valk, I'm just waiting for any unsuspecting enemy to hop onto point. Thank you so much for watching. I know it's been a while since my last Mercy video, but I'm coming back. I've also been streaming a bit on Twitch, so make sure to check below and follow. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure to tell me what you think about Season 10 and what you want from Season 11. Until next time, bye bye